Thank you for joining us, Margaret. You're very kind. Uh, the lawsuit from the Garcia family alleges lax security policies and indifference towards staff and students and and uh, and uh, teachers at the school. So, first of all, your take on that, and has anything changed since the reintroduction of SROs? Mm. Okay, I have been volunteering. I've come back to East High School to volunteer um, after being retired for five years. And there is a significant difference since I was teaching and post Luis Garcia's death. Um, security is much tighter. Getting in and out of the school is much more controlled. Um, the doors are more consistently, are very consistently locked, not more consistently, very, very consistently locked. And the protocols for letting people in and out of the buildings are great. As far as the SROs, um, I'm not really sure. When I worked there, there were SROs. I barely saw them. There were two of them for a building of 2,500 kids. I don't know how many SROs are at East right now. Um, every day that I've volunteered, I've never seen an SRO. So to me, the fundamental uh, difference and the fundamental, well, the fundamental foundation of safety is the teacher and the classroom and the students and that classroom culture and the trust between the teacher and the students. Well, so where do you think this, the DPS is right now, the grade the district on, on, on that, that feeling of relationships among the students you said is at the core of, of safety and everything stems out from there. Absolutely. Um, I've seen a huge difference in the students sort of approach to school and engagement with school in the pre-COVID times when I taught and now in post-COVID times. Kids need a lot more individual attention. Kids are very needy and very expecting of 100% differentiation to their own personal feelings of that day. Fortunately, a lot of the teachers I work with are very experienced and they know how to both be, be structured in their instruction, but also give a lot of interpersonal attention. But what I also see is a huge problem with class size. When I'm helping in a class of 35, 36, 37 kids, it's, Im it's impossible for two of sure. us to give the students enough attention. So even you don't when necessarily think that the, the focus should be on SROs or security. I'm not saying not it's a free for all, all. Right. but, but Maybe the district needs to put their focus Refocus. elsewhere on, on reducing class size. Right, revalue the things that actually make a difference on the day-to-day. -day. Kids don't see SROs, and SROs can't secure an entire building. Right. They're kind of a second line of defense, but the first foundational thing is smaller class sizes where kids and teachers have more communication, the kids are more attended to and happier and and part of a community that they feel safe in yeah. and willing to talk to the teachers about what's going on with other kids and in their lives. Margaret, thank you so much for your time and your expertise. We really appreciate it. Thank you.